chips on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains each horizon is a new beginning rise and rain numbers chapter 6 verse 24 kjv the lord bless thee and keep thee the lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee the lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace hello fellow wish shavers Lira here no me shaves back with another shaving video how is everybody I hope you're all well. Um, I'm doing okay. It's been a very, very, very difficult week in the gnome home, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> First off, I've got two razors that I'm going to be using today. Um, the first one, this is going to be the main razor. Uh, this is a gold dollar that I had mentioned in one of my other videos that a good brother in Christ and wet shaving sent me. Um, this is, I think, so obviously it's a GD. It's a gold dollar. Um, he honed it up. Um, he wanted me to test it out a little bit or try try the edge. If I recall correctly, I think this was finished on my JNAT, so we'll see. I sent him a message before the shave, but um, obviously last minute. I don't think he'll get a chance to respond before I finish this video, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> In the razor, it's just an edge that I wanted to see how it, how it is right now. Um, this this is another razor that's, that's pretty special to me. This was sent to me by Maddie Lindholm. So this is uh, one of his favorite razors. This is the uh, CV Hellestrand. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it's a number 31. So you guys can see that. You guys can pause it, number 31. So this was finished on a JNAT. When I first got it, this is when I first started straight razor shaving. So it was like in my early, early days. It shaved great. Um, I remember the edge was, was amazing. Um, but I think I, I stropped it. At the time, I didn't know, really know what I was doing. I still don't, but I'm better. And I think I might have rolled the edge a little bit because I've, I've used this since. And it didn't shave nearly as well as when I first got it. So what, I'm just going to test it out, see where it's, where it's at. I, I did some stropping on it today. Um, probably roughly, I did just like 10 laps on, on some linen. And then I think I did about 40 laps on... Um, the leather so we'll see how it goes it's just a test because um i want to i'm pretty sure it needs to be refreshed and there's a, i, I want to experiment with something <clears throat> the straight razor that i'm restoring i haven't had a chance to touch it up after that 8k shave so it's just been rough all right what else am i using um okay typical with my zenith board brush you guys know how much i love it shape okay it's, it's weather is starting to get warm it's actually supposed to rain this weekend but who cares I have been itching for some menthol soap for some for some time now. So I'm busting out the Sterling's Glacial Black Cherry. Going all out, my friends. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful black cherry scent. I want to say this is actually essential oil, not a, um, not a, oh crap, what's, so there's this, fragrance oil. <laughs> I think it's an actual, uh, essential oil. Oh shoot, I can check right now. Fragrance, oh my bad, fragrance oil. Okay, never mind. All right, so I got that blooming right there. Uh, oh, and I had mentioned in my last video, two videos ago, that I, I bought some uh, Spike um, bar soap, bath soap. So I used some today. This is the box that it came in. Um, it's a, it's actually the bar of soap is about this color. It's, it's a, this bright orange color, which is it's actually pretty nice and it smells great. I really enjoy the scent. Um, and it's it's not drying out my skin like the um, like that uh, speak in the, in the tub did. Um, but different scents too, very different scents. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Let me get this blue water on my face, and we'll be cracking. Very very strong scent. Love it. Only feeling it on my lips right now. <laughs> you guys know. Well, those of you who've been watching a while know I'm I'm a meth a meth head. I love menthol. Love it. All right, let me go ahead and warm up the brush a little bit. All right. Not too much. This is a menthol shave after all. All right, let's go ahead and load lightly. Load it like you hate it. Oh, it's too thick. There we go. 
yeah, so I mean, the stuff going on here at home, it's not something that I need to put on the YouTubes, you know what I mean? So, we'll just leave it at that. But it's, it's been a very difficult week. Um, I'm also fighting a cold. I've been fighting a cold since I got back from Germany. Um, at first I thought it was allergies, but it's not. Of course, the wife tested me, so it's, it's not the Rona. Um, but yeah, so now my nose is just kind of like, just blowing it a lot recently. So, the menthol should help with that. Someone commented, I remember watching a video on this one time, and someone commented that this, this reminds them of the Hall's cough drops. So, <laughs> that's part of the inspiration for this shape too, is because of, I'm kind of fighting a cold, I've been fighting a cold all week. But, yeah. Nice. Sterling, Sterling makes some of the best menthol soaps, I think, in the business. They're able to <clears throat> get that great balance of scent without it being overpowered by the menthol smell. Smell. The only one that probably has a little bit too much of the menthol scent is Ex Eskimo Tuxedo, and that's just because Sharp Dressed Man is a light scent soap anyway, so. And that's what Eskimo Tuxedo is. It's glacial, um, sharp dressed man. Just wanted to clean the puck off. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get to lathering. Ugh, my hair. Oh, it feels good. Man, it feels good. Yeah, I hope everything, everybody's doing well. I mean, it's it's been a... You guys know, the past couple of years have been crazy. Look, luckily, things are kind of going back to normal. Kind of. Work is so, so busy. Um... <clears throat> Basically, we have everybody traveling right now on on escalations. <clears throat> it's been nuts. I was um, probably supposed to fly back to Germany this weekend, but because of what's going on, I can't. But that and I got some vacation coming up too, which I'm super, super excited about. Going to a <clears throat> a buddy of mine, really, 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 really good friend. His daughter's getting married in Mexico, so we're gonna attend that. Can't wait. Look at that lather, jeez, it's beautiful. Put a little bit more water. Yeah, I haven't shaved since the last shave, so again, do the math. <laughs> it's been that many days. Okay. Yeah, actually. So I was gonna shave, save this shave for tomorrow, but um, I might have some time to touch up this edge today <clears throat> so we'll see how it goes okay first one let me just go ahead and I'll, I'll give this guy a shot first so this is the cd house strand see how it goes restored by manny big hole well, the edge is still pretty decent Yeah, there we go. Now, now it's starting to struggle in this area. Let's see. I like that little thumb notch right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to struggle a little bit at the chin. But not bad. Not bad. All right, so I, I stopped it well. Yeah, that's where it's struggling, right there. 
which I expect. Yeah, this needs a slight touch up, just a little bit. I looked at the uh, the edge under a loop. It, it still looked pretty good. I saw some little little tiny bit of toothiness in a couple spots. It, it could have been from just me shaving or it could have been batch dropping, who knows. But yeah, I think, I think it's, it's not too bad. It's a little bit better than my uh, 8K edge. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead to the next, next razor. Really cool razor though, really cool. Right, here we go. Let's see here. Oh shit! Forgive me. I think I might have got myself pretty good right there. Coming in too fast. Forgive me. Oh. This is the type of edge that I need to learn how to make. <clears throat> this is this is it right here. I, I understand his progression. My buddy, the one who sent this to me, I, I understand his progression, I think. It's just being able to apply it. <laughs> see, did I get my stuff? I can't see. Yep, there's some blood. It's okay. It's part of the game. My head is not quite in it. Yeah, that feels nice. Gosh, that feels good. So just to let you guys know, I, I mentioned that I was looking to get a, um, <clears throat> a, a small Copa Jaina, and I got one. shaving this morning yeah I got one so I kind of wanted to use that to experiment with the um, with that CV halo strand there, right there oh yeah it definitely cuts through the chin hair a lot better Yeah, I can definitely feel the difference. The way I have the camera mounted, a little hard to see with both eyes. Okay. Yep, see that? Got myself pretty good. Bang. Rinse off and we'll come back. Right. Yeah, apologies, guys. I'm a little on the quiet side today. Again, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff on the mind. Sometimes these videos are a little bit, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they can be soothing. I think that's the word I wanted, I wanted to use. <clears throat> yeah, you guys can probably hear me. My voice is a little bit low today. Ooh. 
We got the cameras in a really odd spot. My buddy's trying to tell me to don't be afraid to go do this this the suicide what's it called suicide stroke? No. I don't have that level of confidence in my skills. So you probably won't see that on <laughs> for a long time. hot dog this is do I dare say it, that this edge is actually better than the one from the Wayne and Butcher do I dare say it it almost seems like it's um, smoother if that makes any sense good yeah I can't have one tip he get he, he, he told me about going against the grain is you know you got to kind of start in motion I just tried that right here but it got stuck I don't know how people can get in there and just go I can't. <laughs> For man, I sprung all kinds of leaks, but let me check this side down a little bit. Okay, that is it. 17 minutes, pretty impressive. Hold on, let me rinse off <clears throat> cold water. my hair in the uh, the brush right that's my shave fellow wet shavers hope everybody enjoyed that I think it was a pretty good shave um, dude you know who you are if you see this, uh, dude, this edge. Oh my gosh, killer. Yeah, let me check. Yeah, he didn't get back to me, but um, if he get, gets back to me before I post this, I'll put his progression down, down below, okay? Maddie, if you ever see this video, thank you, dude. This is actually a really nice little razor. It still has a pretty decent edge, but um, hope you don't mind, but I'm going to try to touch it up a bit. All right. That's it, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, let me do a quick little recap. Um, I just showed you the two razors, Gold Dollar and a uh, CV Hellestrand. Man, what's wrong with my hands? Ooh, Sterling's Glacial Black Cherry. Try it if you like menthol. Uh, this is the fantastic scent. It's very straightforward. Black cherry. It's got the little tartness in it. And the whole nine yard is beautiful, beautiful scent. And my, I've mentioned it before, my favorite boar brush. Oh, I think the Zenith is, <laughs> I'm using it so much, the Zenith is coming off a little bit. Zenith the board brush, I love this handle, I love the, the shape of it, the heft of it, really, really good, and I especially love this knot. All right, 
that's my shame everybody hope y'all enjoyed that um oh, i almost kept it under 20 minutes dang all right take care everybody um uh, my next video i don't know what it's gonna be yet i don't maybe i'll be able to do some hoeing we'll see how it goes but but yeah so stay tuned um that's it for me for now i won't see you guys i won't do a video this weekend so happy hope you guys have a fantastic weekend take care of yourselves god bless each and every one of you and as always remember please do not text and drive. Take care. God bless.